Hello, scholars, parents, and educators around the world. I go by Scholar Gamer Nerd. I'm currently a ninth grade English teacher in the city of Pomona, California at the high school level. And the purpose of this video is really to share with you how I've been going about the process of hosting or facilitating instruction via Zoom. And I want to keep this video simple and practical. So let me just get right to it. First and foremost, before starting the uh, meeting, I usually have all of the tabs necessary to facil facilitate instruction open and ready to go. So my Google Drive, my worksheet, my agenda, right? Make sure to have an agenda so that students know what to expect and video, Google Classroom, so on and so on. So the first thing you wanna do is you want to go on zoom.us, then you click sign in, then you go to sign in with Google. I would strongly encourage you to sign in with your school account because it allows you to host meetings that are longer than 40 minutes. In my case, I've hosted like hour long meetings on average. And the first thing you wanna do is you wanna click on uh, schedule a new meeting. So we're gonna title this meeting, uh, let's say Thursday uh, check-in. Let's just say, hypothetically speaking. I'm gonna leave the description empty. You can fill it out if you'd like. Today is the 26th. I'll make my meeting for 1.30 p.m., right? Which is uh, shortly, shortly. Um, and I'll just say that my meeting is uh, 15 minutes long. Then what I want to do is I want to um, I want it to generate a, a meeting ID automatically. I am not going to input a meeting ID because that's just an extra. I'm sorry, a meeting password because that's just an extra step. Um, so I'm, I'm, I haven't been doing that. You turn on host, turn on participant for video access. Um, Audio, for audio, I put both. I put telephone and computer audio, so it allows you to hear both, if I'm not mistaken. And you wanna enable join before host, mute participants upon entry. That's very important so that you don't catch all the background noise for folks who aren't aware that they're already in the meeting. Enable waiting room and record the meeting auto automatically. So regarding the record the meeting automatically, and safety concerns. I know that this is something that was brought up for other districts with some of my colleagues is that what if a student says or does something inappropriate or uses uh, inappropriate language or whatever, I shows an explicit image. My advice would be for you to send an email blast to all the parents that their student needs to incorporate their legal first and last name so you don't have to deal with the whole like inappropriate use of technology issue. But again, thank Hopefully, I have not dealt with that up to this point, but I know it is a concern. I'm not an expert on this, but if anyone knows other ways to address that besides like requiring students to use their legal first name and last name so that you can hold them accountable and obviously hold yourself accountable, right? We're holding students and teachers accountable for engaging in appropriate professional behavior, right? During these uh, Zoom meetings, that's one way to do it. I can't think of another way. Then you go to save. Uh, the meeting and the next step is pretty straightforward uh, you just go to start this meeting uh, and you want to go to open zoom it's going to open the actual application you click on join with computer audio and i should be good at this point i start video hang on start video it says fail to start the video camera. Please select another video camera and settings. Oh, I know why. Uh, so pretty much it's not allowing me to show my face uh, because I'm using my camera to record this video that you're watching right now. So it'll just show my uh, default picture on Google for now. But uh, let me show you, and you don't have to show your face by the way, but let me show you how a student would access this meeting. Okay, so let's see here. We, nope, that's not it. Uh, that's not it. Uh, cancel. Um, 
I basically need to find the meeting ID, but I don't know where it is. Uh, let's see here. Zone. There we go. Uh, yeah, man, I don't know what I'm doing, so never mind. Um, unless that's it. Two eight four seven three seven two four six nine. Yeah, guys, sorry, this is a technical difficulty. I did not anticipate. The host has another meeting in progress. Okay, meetings. Okay, so this is. Okay, leave. Leaving meeting. Join meeting. Nine three six nine one zero six three seven. Join. Yeah, there it is. I just joined the meeting, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, it won't let me do that. Participants. Yep, there I am. Admit. Yep, yep, there I am, as you can see. Sorry about the delay, but yeah, there I am. So like if I was a student, right, I'm I can I'm able to participate. Oh, it says my audio did not connect. Anyways, long story short is this is what the student would see. Okay. They're basically watching um, my screen. And I can even go to share screen like I can share whichever screen I want see my recording screen or this screen the the website I'll share the website with them and at that point literally like they would just be watching what I'm doing see if you notice right here I don't know if you guys can see that um, I'll tilt it right there see a student would literally watch your screen that's called screen sharing so you just walk them through the lesson plan. They can ask questions if they unmute their mic or you can mute them, right? If they're being disruptive or, or they're speaking like over each other sometimes, you can just mute them. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, there's nothing to be afraid of. I think um, the more that we get into the different nuances of technology usage, the better our students will be. Uh, ultimately, um, so yeah, I strongly recommend it, guys. Uh, make sure, again, you log in with your work email. And yeah, that's all I have for you today. If you found this helpful, please uh, smash that like button. And if you have any questions or want to contribute to the conversation, just use the comment box below. And yeah, that's all I have for you today. Don't forget to be a... Oh, wait, let me end the meeting. Let me end the meeting. How do you end the meeting? You probably want to know that. Um, so the way that you end the meeting... Uh, meeting controls Where are these meeting controls here they are You just go to stop share and meeting and meeting for all and It'll just log them out over here. You'll notice right here. I'll show you It'll log them out. See automatically Log them out. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. That's all I have for you today Don't forget to be a scholar first gamer second nerd always peace